okay, I have an idea in my head, and I, wa- I think I want to do that. So I think you know uh, that uh, in August I lost um, two people, and it got me thinking about death, uh, talk with my husband, where do I want to be buried, and what will happen if this and what happens when life gets shorter, and what do we want to do with ourselves. And then I also realized that in my family, there is a lot of issues of being frustrating artist, but then also in my partner's family. And then I realized all of humanities are frustrated artists because humans are creative. It's our nature, especially women. So now I'm not going to talk about anything in the world. Personally, I feel that I want to do something which I'm going to call just in case I die. God, I don't mean to be dramatic. But just in case I die, there are some things I want to say. Uh, so in case my husband will not be wise enough to know what to do, then I'm going to share with you some things uh, that I would like you to know just in case I die. What do you think about that? Is it too morbid? <laughs> I hope not. Because at the same time, the flip coin of it is immense creativity and playfulness and love to life. I want to celebrate life and giving ourselves and our children and all the people we love permission to expand themselves and to be more than what our parents or grandparents told us. So for all of amazing women in my family and men and all of the most loving people I ever met. Let's do this. Just in case I die, what do you have to say? I'll tell you what I have to say. Tomorrow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We're good. We're good. It's a very interesting practice. Uh, to listen to our heart. It sounds very upset. Go, listen to your heart, listen to your heart. What the hell is the heart? Who the hell is talking? What is my mind is telling me and what is my heart is telling me? It's very interesting. And I'm studying this. How do I listen to my heart? Why it's so scary to listen to my heart? What does my heart want to say? So I'm in the process of listening. I'm also teaching it to people. It's very, very, very empowering to know what your real heart wants. Because what your real heart wants, it's what your soul wants. And there is no happiness without your soul getting what it wants. I'm talking about happy goodness all the time. So I ask my heart, what does it want? And it said, because it's like an inner child. eh? The the, the heart is, 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 it has innocence in it. It's in the realm of the divine feminine. Um, uh, And it is, uh, you cannot say no to it. And if the heart says, I want to do this, you first have to say yes. You don't want to break this this thing. You maybe work with it later, but first listen to that. So I was going like, okay, heart, what is it that you want? And my heart said, I want people to love me for who I am and not only for what I can do for them. <laughs> and I think that it is the... Um, wish of every heart and the mind is going to say but you have to do this and you have to do this and you have to make it practical and love just doesn't grow on trees which is not true it does grow on trees and it does grow in everything so then i realized that some of the some of the way that i work i am creating this uh happy goddess and it is my initiative and empowering people where I teach where and where I do things for people and um, there is an exchange that's where my inner king lives and he wanted my life to go there and then I have my inner queen and my inner queen she just wants to connect and she wants to share love and she wants to create in her own time with no schedule, with no strategy. She just wants to create and bring people together and feel. And he wants to master and to conquer and to make um, great impact in the world. And, and those two could not live with each other. So that's what I started to say before. That's why my story is becoming double story. 
because 22 years ago, I was working on a great production. He was very happy. And she was a little bit squashed because there was a deadline and there were lots of dancers and musicians. And I, anyway, so I had a burnout. Burnout, I talked about it before. For two years, kind of like I was in another dimension. But when I was going within and I was learning from new teachers, I saw that my what happened was is that my inner king was going like uh, Napoleon on a horse to conquer and to make this production go and it was fascinating for him and where was the queen she was dragged like a bag of potatoes behind the horse so then I had my own collapse because she thought we're not going anywhere and see thought oh I didn't know you were there I'm doing my own thing and she pulled him off the horse and then I had my my breakdown but my breakdown is where I came to the middle point, to the zero point of myself, and I went into the world under. Okay, I'm talking about it because this is the biggest thing that happened, and the whole happy goddess was born out of this. So for 22 years, I'm trying to learn what is she and what is he, and can we bring them together? <laughs> because if I'm allowed to become a bit more spiritual here, in the Kabbalistic understanding of our life, uh, the correction of our world, and we know now we need correction of our world, because now, now we have the opportunity, there is a rising, there is rising of consciousness that happens, and we can help it by good deeds, by being a person who can bring more light to their body. Of course, I talk about it in Happy Goodness a lot. But one of the principles of the Tree of Life is uniting inside yourself your masculine part and the feminine part. Um, and that means, and that's everything what I'm teaching here, the right brain, left brain, yin and yang, your extrovert, your introvert, your slow side, your fast side, both hands, both legs. No, that's the whole principle. But for myself, personally, I never talked until now what it does to me. So I'm teaching people everything what I've learned about my journey so they don't have to wait 22 years, they can already do it faster. But in my own process as an artist, my artist, and my founder were not working together. So sometimes I will have a life, I had children, I had a daughter, with special, I have a daughter with special need. I had to become completely into the feminine world. So my inner queen was happy, but then my inner king was going like, I want to do things in the world and I want to travel and I want to create. So then I had periods also when I was completely there and then she was not happy. So every person has that dynamic. In my case, I was born completely with two opposites. You know, my sun is here, my Venus is here, my Mars is here. My whole life is about the unity of yin and yang. I'm apparently supposed to do it with myself and to teach it to others. And that's what I'm doing. But now I come into a point where I want to balance the creation of this wonderful kingdom of the happy goddess where I can pass on to people and create movements and help people empower uh, and change their lives on the online world so connected to the whole rest of the world and the other is my artist in me I want to share with you I want to share with you all of the songs I didn't publish I want to share all the stories I didn't publish I want to share all of the books I didn't publish I want to clean for myself all of the shame that I didn't publish and I want them to come together, and I want to find the rhythm in my daily life between home and work, between creation and manifestation, and this is what I'm gonna be talking about in Just In Case I Die. So I'm gonna show you all of my secrets. Oh my God, what the hell am I doing? Daniela, is that a good idea? I think it's pretty good. <laughs> okay, so um, so that's my confession for uh, for now, and uh, we'll see what will come tomorrow. I'm not planning anything. I'm going to do what I do. I'll connect to source, and I will ask for guidance. I'll bring my light, and then I will bring here whatever I can bring. And um, yeah, so I hope for you it will give you also permission to just uh, share what you share, just in case you die. Death is part of life, you know. And uh, this is what I'm doing.
I want to tell you something. 